My name is Charlie Flannel, a.k.a. Yeah! The Mantis. And welcome to my channel. Yeah! Yeah! Safety and security, two things that every human being on this earth should feel. But recently, my neighbors have felt neither. Break-ins have become more and more common. This one's been broken into, another break-in here, even this frickin' one. And if there's one thing I hate more than frickin' swearing, it's frickin' break-ins. Sarah says, hey Charlie, she means the mantis, that's me. Someone broke into my house, I wouldn't know what to do. Well, Sarah, if you're watching, this one's for you. So today we're gonna to talk through a few scenarios on how to protect yourself from home invaders. With me always is my assistant, Kyle. So first scenario, very simple. You get up to go to the toilet in the middle of the night, perhaps you want a drink, but you get to the kitchen and you are confronted by an intruder. These few seconds are crucial and could save your life. You have to think. You stop, you look to your left. What do you see? A fork. Quite sharp, quite deadly, could be a good weapon, but the problem is you have to get pretty close. If you want to do anything with it. And I don't want to close down that distance. I want to keep as much distance from me and the intruder as possible. So I turn to my left, and what do I see? A longsword, fine blade, freshly sharpened. Everyone's got one. It's three moves. One, two, and then straight down the middle. Okay? We'll get a few different angles of that, but it's one, two, and straight down the middle. Let's see that from a different angle. One, two, and three. Do you see? Three, straight down the middle. I want that exactly down the middle, like a mirror in his head. Three. He's not getting up from that. Our second scenario is, you're lying in bed, wearing your pajamas, trying to get some well-deserved shut-eye when suddenly, an intruder enters your chambers. They lean over you, when suddenly, you open your eyes, and again, you have to think. Pause. What do you do? You look him in the eyes, you reach your hands behind the pillow, what do you pull out? Your flick knife, basic opening. Up we go. He's now your hostage, at his jugular, is the blade. We move from room to room. He's not going anywhere, because we don't know how many of them there might be. Moving out, moving out, moving out. Turn, look, clear. Turn, look, clear. Few more steps. Look at him, execute. Why do I execute him? Because, check his back pockets. What's he got? A gun. And what else has he got? Huh. Just a picture of me. And that brings us to our final scenario. The old classic, you're walking in through your front door and someone tries to barge in behind you. Now what I like to do with my keys is I like to have a claw hammer hanging from my keys as you will see here. Incredibly important, an incredibly powerful way to defend yourself. So the scenario is, I've got my keys out, I'm ready to come through my front door. Are you ready, Kyle? I'm ready to come through my front door. I stop, I hear a noise behind me and I unleash. 
dum 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 and crack 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 if you want to once more should we try that from a different angle that's crack 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 okay should we try that again crack 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 What's nice is because this is a claw hammer, you can actually, if you want to, up the nose and rip. And then another crack, 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 crack. The world is a dangerous place, so be frickin' careful, because you never know. There could be a weirdo standing in front of you right now.